Making hits with Lakeith Good Grief Grief What's there? I'm with you. What's up, big dog? What's man, up? she introduce yourself to the colors world, man. Rouge Bullet, Baton Rouge. This is my 1970 Chevelle. Shit, tell me a little bit about it, man. Man, I really ain't got a whole bunch to say, man. I bought it out the showroom floor, put the wheels on it, did a little console. Really, that's it. You know, everybody rocking rooches and forges. Salute them. I like them. Everybody in Baton Rouge who normally do the spokes and bowls. That's a normal culture thing. Don't matter if you call it yellow or pink, you can put that on there. You ain't gonna go wrong with that. All right. But this is a little different, so I went different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so how long you had the car? About a year. Right so, at a year. Like so what it, it was sitting pretty already when I bought it. So you got any future like like upgrades or are you just gonna rock it how it is? Like you, you Man, got it. I have a uh I got a QA suspension that's not here yet. And I have a motor that I'm undecided on exactly what I'm doing. It's LS, 4L80 transmission, yeah. and I'm still trying to debate, do I want to change the motor or what? You know, I got 20,000 miles on this car, so it kind of got me. Yeah, wish it was, you don't know if you want to go all the way with it, but I do tell you one thing, like if you do go with the LS, keep your original motor, wrap it up and, and stock because you know these serial numbers and stuff yeah, be matching a, up and all that it's too. A, match, a number matching car so if i pull it out i'm just gonna put it on the motor rack clean it up shine it up make it look good and if i was to ever sell it that's gonna the whole package deal that's gonna be the price right man shit that's a nice car man you don't mind me getting a walk around huh check it out man all right Gonna look up under the hood, huh? Oh, sir. Let, me so let me check you out. Oh yeah, boy. That fire tech too. You say you you bought the car like this, or you put all the the extra on it? No, I bought it fire tech system vintage out. Right. I bought it like that. Yeah, we're gonna keep it original. You might as well make it run like a new car, huh? Shit, it definitely cranks up like a new car too. Yeah. Let me check the trunk out, man. Come on, you can check it out. Oh, yeah. Real deal, OG, huh? Yeah, it's all the real. Street side classic. Oh, that was nice, boy.
Yeah, that shit ride good, though. On, on the, what size wheels are it? 24. Yeah, that's the best size wheel. Or traffic makes it down here today. I think they have like a little chill in the country or something. So long, how long you been messing with the dogs, man? Five years serious when it comes to making money. Right. My whole life <laughs> before that. Dog fear, huh? Dog fear. That's what I be telling people when you're doing something you love, it, it don't even feel like work at all. When you're getting paid to do what you love, it ain't work at all. Right. That's why I got so many dogs now it's working. Yeah. So like like you you got all you breed your own dogs with us. Uh, you team up with other people and breed dogs? I'm, or? I'm the only Jewish person. I just spend my money with a lot of folks. Out of town, in town, all over the place. Going yeah. I just spend yeah. money all over. So now it's all in-house now? Uh, I ain't gonna say it's all in-house, but I mean, I got a lot of in-house stuff going on. But yeah, if I see something I like, yeah, then I, I want it, yeah, I'll spend some money with somebody else. So, you got people in bad wood that I rock with, that I spend a bad with. I've been doing it already. So how you feel about that? I see something new like them fluffies, like. Um, fluffies. I'm gonna say that's the new wave. I'm gonna say that's the new wave. I don't got a whole bunch of knowledge on it, but I know you can get a lot of money off of it. I do know that. Yeah, I've, I've been seeing that lately, like, like the fluffies and stuff. I'm like, man. Man, these dogs turning exotic like a mother. You yeah, change they, um, and change. To be honest with you, I don't even like the fluffy, but I know I can make money, so right. that's what it's about. It ain't about what I like. It's about what the people like. Yeah. What the people want. You gotta give them what they want. Of course. Supply and demand. I think it's an ugly ass dog. <laughs> right. But hey, it is what it is. So how you feel like when when the bullets first came? It, when they first came in, they, they rubbed everybody the wrong way. They short, they stout, they, you know what I'm saying? But now that it's the wave and people starting to grow to like them. So did you ever, like when they first came in, did you always like yeah, everything see, about the bullet? See, or? I thought I was uh, able to buy a dog food and could feed my dog and make it big like that. Yeah. But I was wrong. <laughs> so I had to do my research and go spend a whole bunch of money. And now I'm to the point of where I'm at. So now nah, I had to do my research and learn about it. Right. Just like anything, just like with this car, you had to learn about. I the, definitely had to learn about it, which is I've been liking these cars since I was a kid. Man, we used to dream about stuff like this. Right. The YD type of cars on movies. Uh, then it'd be so many, so many people trying to scam and stuff. They keep be hollering about they ain't a true SS and all this and right. all that. You gotta do your research before you buy anything. You gotta know what you're really getting into. You know. A lot of people can't even afford to look at something like this. So. Yeah. You got your money, you fly out there, go see what you like, or in town or whatever, check it out, do your research. And if you got the money, you pay for it. All right. Half of the people hollering about a true SS and all this here. They don't they even have use, a car, period, really. Yeah, they can't even buy a goddamn training wheel. <laughs> At least that's how most haters feel. Yeah, so this your first old school, or? Nah, this is my fourth one. Yeah. So I what had an uh, 81 Regal, an 82 Regal, and an 87 Cutlass. So this is my fourth one right here. So out of them other three, so which one you really, I know this set the standard. This is like a totally different level. Like, Well, my 87 set the standard. All original 60,000 miles on it. And um, so when I did sell it, I couldn't come back with nothing lesser than that. You know right. what I'm saying? So that was a, a clean car that I should have sold. All original it didn't have a grip or stain, nothing. You know, I like to pop my hood and talk with your shit, cause half of these dudes can't pop their hood. They can't open their trunk up. They right. can't open their ass tray up. They shit dirty and, you know, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But see, that, that's why I really kind of started the YouTube, cause I want to see Baton Rouge grow as a whole for us with the car culture. And we've been stepping it up a little bit, but it we got room for improvement. Baron got some nice cars. Oh, now yeah. don't let me, you know, Baron got some yeah. nice cars. Cutlass, Regals, Caprice, there's a lot of dudes doing their thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I already went through a whole lot of 
calling this person to fix this, call this person to fix that. So that's what got me to the point where I'm at right now. I'm very impatient. I hate waiting on people, especially when I got all your money. Right. You know, I ain't calling you unless I got your money. And they kind of, you know, it's a lot of dudes that's popping in the city. They very, very busy. So I'm not knocking them dudes. You know, I want to deal with them, but man, I don't want nobody with my car months at a time. And that's what I learned with my first car. Yeah. I had to wait. Yeah, you, you gotta have patience. Yeah. So, to a certain extent though. Yeah. If we if we have a um communication and you tell me, hey, you gonna have my car for 42 days, it should be 42 days, because I got all your money right now. Don't have my car eight months and you told me 42 days. You breaching the contract or you breaking the contract. You know that, you know, it's, and then even when you know you're going to have a car longer. It's communication, man. It's yeah, about communicating business. with, the, with, with your customer. Some of these dudes, bro, they don't know how to communicate. Some people get your car and not want to call you, let you, let you know no update. Then you got to keep calling and keep calling. You feel like you, they got your money, but you feel like you getting on their nerves from all the calls. And then man, they answer the phone like yeah. that, too. <laughs> yeah, but you don't, you don't, you can call me and update. Yeah, I, I, we did this and did that. Let me know the steps make me feel good about where I spent my money at, though. Yeah, you know, that's what I learned with the first three calls. That's what I learned. So that's how I ended up with this one, because I didn't want to wait for more. Yeah. And I'm fortunate enough to, well, I ain't had to wait. I was able to buy what I want, and it is what it is. So where you got the car from? Uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I was searching. Um, I was looking at a drop cut list, and uh, had my eyes on something. I already read it, again, because I didn't want to wait. And then I always wanted a Chevelle. At the same time, Baton Rouge don't have a whole lot of Chevelles out here. So I'm like, I've been off the car scene for a while. So when I come back, I come back right. So I bought the Chevelle. So when you when you went got it, you drove it back or? Nah, I had an um, enclosed trailer. Yeah. Enclosed trailer. And who, who did the, who went scooped it up for you? Man, I bought it off a of dealership, um, showroom flow. We was sitting on the showroom flow. I saw it. I looked at it, I called my brother. He gave me the approval and said, buy it, I cashed out. They asked me what I want to know about the car. I told him nothing. How long it's going to take to get to my house? <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. Yeah. Yeah, when you want something, you want it, man. Yeah, I'm like, a, you know, I was able to get what I wanted. Right. I see your brother got in one, too. Where he still kids from? Um, he got that one out of Florida. Get LS swap right now. Yeah, y'all went pick it up or the same no, situation like put it you? on a trailer, bought it to me. Bought it to me. So when you received the car, was you happy or it was certain shit that you were like, man, I need to do this or do that? Nah, or? I was very impressed. It was everything. Well, I had the car appraised before I even before I even, you know, make purchase. Right. So I had 120 pictures of the car. Yeah. Side of the car, top of the car, bottom of the car. If it had any rust spots, everything, I had the whole car checked out before I bought it. So when I got it, it was everything that the 120 pictures was. Right. It wasn't nothing in the blind. Like it wasn't nothing in the blind. Everything that was on my car, that's how I was. Okay. So it wasn't nothing, no surprises, no flaws in that. Yeah, man, let the people know, man, where they can find you at. Take a look at your dogs. And Rouge all. Bullies, man, at Rouge Bullies on Instagram and on um, Eric Brown on Facebook. I got 5,000 followers on there, so might be waiting on there for Instagram. You can come holler at me anytime. That would be direct, huh? Yeah, that's direct. Yeah. That's direct. Man, it's good you having me, man. Shit, I, I appreciate it, man. Man, appreciate you having me, dog. Right, man. You doing your thing on there. Appreciate it, cause you know people. You be trying to catch up with people. People be having a busy life. Everybody can't just stop what they doing and and, and do. I need an interview. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate what it is because I didn't. I just sit here and listen to you talk to customers. That's it's money. You don't yeah, stop that. Like hey, I hold got, on. Like we we finna shoot out of town in the morning, distant Florida, man. I gotta drop another dog out. So I got 20 puppies right now, ready to roll. So we very very busy, very busy. And that's why I'm so appreciative of you letting me get this interview, you know what I'm saying? This interview will help my channel. This is the first Chevelle on here, period. So, you know, it's gonna attract a different audience, man, for everybody who's watching. 
man subscribe like share comment man i'm still trying to come with it put baton ridge on the map y'all just let me know what what y'all want to see next man thank y'all